Hello, good morning everyone, good morning teachers, and good morning grade 5 students. I'm here again to discuss our new lessons for today. Alright class, uh, our topic for today is all about the using search engines for gathering and organizing information. The objectives of this topic, end of the lesson, the students are expected to define search engine and its characteristics and uh, also identify the correct search engine to use for specific information and can do a bookmark on different websites and the students are also organize the bookmarks from different websites. This is the lessons for you to learn that the details of using search engines. Search engines enable you to gather and organize information or data of any kind which you may find useful in your studies. So a uh, meaning of search engine. A search engine is a web service. It is a site on the World Wide Web that utilizes computer software to look into millions of pages on the internet to search for a keyword and from this creates an index of web pages. Internet user can then use this index to search for the information they need on the internet. An ideal search engine most internet users prefer has these characteristics. The first one, simple, well organized, and easy to read interface. And then the next one, results that appropriate and relevant to what you are looking for. And then the last one, of course, there are helpful options that can help you widen your search for information. And the following are the most popular and most used search engines. The first ones we have Google. So class, what is Google? Google is a searching for music, news, word meanings, business, shopping, emails, sports, and mobile. And then we have also a www.us.com. It is searching for email, finance, news, style, shopping, property, movies, travel, fantasy, messenger, mobile, or Flickr. Next, we have www.msn.com. Ang MSN po, it is uh, searching for emails, store, outlook.com. And then Skype, Maps, and News. www.wow.com So what is that? Okay, when we say wow, it is uh, about the news and events, entertainment, health, technology, food, family, sports, art, education, and lifestyle. We have also uh, www.webcrawler.com Com. So, ano po yung web crawler? It is a website that brings users the top search results from Google, Yahoo, and other popular search engines. A web crawler also provides multimedia results including images, videos, news, and local information. Okay, next we have also a www.aol.com. Com. So what is that? It is a website that delivers comprehensive web results uh, with quick, easy to access and relevant videos, features, local maps, news, stock codes, and more. We have also a www.infospace.com. So what is that? It is a leading provider of wide level search and monetization solutions. And then we have www.info.com. www.info.com is a powerful search platform which draws together the best of the web by aggregating results from, from the index web and the surrounding live social media sphere. Okay, next we have www.contentco.com. So, uh, Contentco is created to be different from every search results pages. Contentco is the narrows the search down to a single page of 10 results. If that, if what you are looking for is not in those results. Okay, search again with a better search term. Contentco makes it easier to, uh, to surf the web through what they call search simplification. Okay, we have also a uh, www.dogpile.com. 
www.dogpile.com. Dogpile returns all the best results from leading search engines including, including Google and Yahoo. So uh, you will find what you're looking faster. Each search engine has its own method of searching and each will return different results. Dogpile looks at all of them, decides which are most relevant to your search, eliminates duplicates and reveals them too. In the end, you get a list of results that is more complete than anywhere else on the web. Okay? All right, class. Uh, uh, advanced web searching, it is understanding how to perform sophisticated searches of online information will uh, greatly increase your chances of finding what you want. While most popular search engines let you define your search criteria in uh, very specific ways, not all of them functions in the same way. So uh, the things, uh, things to remember in web searching class, the first one, do not do not capitalize your search keyword to be able to get much information about about the keywords like what I said the previous uh, discussions and do not enclose your phrases and quotations marks that is very important this essentially allows you to get more information about the phrase and then to widen your search on the topic example uh, sewing use the root word of the topic and use an Asterisk examples so uh, examples so and then asterisk. If you want to widen your search for as much information about a topic class, write on your keyword the words or and uh, keywords the words or and. This is recommended for keywords with synonyms. Examples dish or uh, viand, fashions or and style and lunch or and meal however there are certain search engines that do not support or and as keywords if this happens try to learn about your search engines and find out its special keywords all right class now let's proceed to the bookmarks what is bookmarks bookmarks are links to websites that make it easy for you to get back to your favorite or frequently visited websites or web pages so class, here is how to do a bookmark. The first one, you have to open the page you want to bookmark. And then second st step, click the stars button next to the search bar. Press Ctrl. The star will turn blue and will be added to your bookmarks. You can also press Ctrl, Ctrl or CTRL slash plus D. The third one, click the stars button to open the bookmarks details. There are a few different changes you can make to the bookmark from this pop-out window. And then you can change the name of the bookmark, which is the same as the page's title by default to whatever name you would like to label the page. You can select a folder for the bookmark by choosing one from the drop-down menu. You can create a new folder by clicking the drop down button and then clicking new folder. Add tags to the bookmarks. Uh, Firefox allows you to tag bookmarks with words or short phrases. You can then find your bookmarks later by using these tags. Click the drop down button to view all of your tags. Next, toggle the bookmarks bar. The bookmarks bar is a way to quickly access to your most important bookmarks. It is usually found beneath the address bar. However, this varies with the type of browser you are choosing. Click the clipboard button next to the search bar. Select bookmarks toolbar and then click view bookmarks toolbar to toggle it on or off. If your bookmarks bar is showing, you can drag a website icon directly onto the bar to quickly add it as a bookmark. All right. Next, we have to manage your bookmarks. You can open the library window to manage all of your bookmarks. Click the clipboard and select show all bookmarks to open the library window to the all bookmarks section. Click and drag bookmarks to move them. You can select multiple bookmarks by holding control, control windows or command and clicking each one. Right click and select new folder to create a new folder for your bookmarks. Then 
folder will be created in your current location. Delete bookmarks by right-clicking on them and selecting delete. You can delete multiple bookmarks at once if you have them all selected. Alright? Alright class, I have here a short video that I'm going to show you first before we end our topic for today. This video is all about on how to bookmark a website. Here it is. Okay class, how to bookmark how to bookmark a website. To create a bookmark, click the star in the toolbar, which is ito po yon, yung star na ito. The star will turn blue and bookmark for the page you're on will be created in the unsorted bookmarks folder. Or in some browsers, it is called bookmarks bar or favorites. In other browsers such as Explorer, Chrome, or Bing, the star will turn Yellow. Okay, class. What I'm going to do now, click ko itong star na to para makagawa ko ng bookmark file. So, click and then naging blue siya, right? Then may lumabas na box. And then yung box na to, if you notice, may nakasulot na, na new tab. Ngayon, lalagyan ko siya ng pangalan ko. Example, Alejandro Guapo. Ayan. Then click done. Pupunta siya dito sa unsorted bookmark folders. Ayan. Okay, ngayon sa pagdi-delete naman class, uh, right-click, delete. Okay, delete. So, notice mo na wala, right? Okay. Right-click and delete. So, ang gagawin ko naman, I'm going to... Uh, Visit my channel, my YouTube channel, ayan. And then, uh, click my profile picture. Go to my uh, videos. Ayan, then uh, select ako ng isa. Characteristics of eggs. Ayan. Egg pies in each egg. Okay, class. Ang gagawin ko dito, ibubookmark folder ko siya. No? Para sa next time, pag na uh, gusto ko siyang panoorin ulit, ikiklik ko lang yung binookmark ko na ito at direct na ako na mapupunta dito. Anyway, kung sana ako nag-start or nag-stop sa pinanood ko ngayon, uh, same din yun kapag in-open ko siya ulit. Okay? Bubookmark ko ito. Okay, bookmark. And then, napansin nyo, class, yung title ng pinapanood ko ngayon ay andi dito na siya kaagad. And then, click done. If you notice, andito na siya kasama na sa ibang folders. Okay, gagawin ko. Close ko to. Ayan. And then, uh, open ko siya ulit. Okay, ito yung binookmark ko, right? Yung Alejandro Guapo and Characteristic of Eggs. Ngayon, open ko yung characteristic of eggs. Okay, yan. Alright, yan. Kung saan ako nag-start at nag-stop nun, same pa rin siya, right? Ayan o. Yan. Alright, class. Thank you so much. I hope na-absorb nyo yung aking uh, discussion for today. God bless and uh, good day everyone. And I love you all.